so here good afternoon students so today i am going to explain class 8 understanding and uh, this part i am going to explain the question number 8th one i have want to start that so the following figures guns g u n s guns and runs r u n s these are the two figures should be given our parallelogram find the value of x and y length r in centimeter length r in centimeter you have to consider as a 3 centimeter 3 18 26 centimeter 18 centimeter this and all we have to find in this figure i'll explain i have drawn and i will explain that see here question number 8 so can you see here easily in a parallelogram opposite sides are parallel opposite sides are equal and parallel opposite sides are equal this side is equal to this side and this side is equal to this side right first i will take 3x is equal to 18 3x is equal to 18 can you understand so 3 product value if i transpose to be a denominator if i transpose to be a denominator x is equal to 18 divided by 3 3 one the 36 is 18 x is equal to 6 we got the answer right similarly this side is equal to this side 3x 3y minus 1 3y minus 1 is equal to 26 3y minus 1 is equal to 26 and 3y is equal to minus 1 if i transpose that side it will become plus sign 3y is equal to 26 plus 1 27 then product value if i transpose to be a denominator 3 ones are 3 9 the 27 and y is equal to denominator 1 you drop it and y is equal to 9 this is the final answer understood okay now i'm going to explain the second question from that similarly in the 8th main see here so here the given diagram r u n s runs in a parallelogram diagonal bisect each other diagonals bisect each other x plus y given 16 given 20 given y plus 7 should be given right can you understand this i will explain here wait one second now here you see easily y plus 7 is equal to the opposite side is that is 20 y plus 7 is equal to 20 and y is equal to plus sign if i transpose this side it become minus sign y is equal to 20 minus 7 is y is equal to 13 similarly that this side and this side we have to take x plus y is equal to 16 the diagonal the bisector of and x plus y value we are taking from here that is y is 13 is equal to 16 if i transpose this side it become plus 13 if it become minus 13 so see, x is equal to 16 minus 13 16 minus 13 is 3 x is equal to we got 3 that is the value of second one understood now here i am going to explain question number 9 that is the given diagram that is figure that is in the above figure r i s k r i s k and q c l u e are the two parallelograms right these are the two parallelogram find the value of x this is the angle x should be given see here we can see here the value of x should be given understood we have to find the value of x now we have to see here i have drawn see these are the two things risk and uh, two parallelograms that is a risk and clue that we have to find the value of x that is the angle x now here i am taking angle 1 in the figure angle 2 angle 3 and angle 4 this is the x opposite vertically opposite angle is 4 right okay now here you see so <clears throat> angle one is equal to angle twenty degree, one twenty degree. That is, see opposite angles. Opposite angles are equal. Angle one is equal to angle one twenty degree. That is, opposite angles are equal. Angle one plus angle two, angle one plus angle two is equal to one eighty degree. That is for linear pair angle. We know that, right? linear pair angle angle 1 is equal to angle 2 that is linear pair angle angle 1 is there 120 degree plus angle 2 should be as it is and if i transpose this side angle 2 is equal to 180 minus 120 plus 120 it will go this side if i transpose that side it become minus sign so 180 minus 120 is angle 2 is 60 degree we got angle and similarly angle 3 is 70 degree this see this line this see here in the figure this triangle and equal to this angle see 
this angle is equal to angle 3 angle that is corresponding angles we know that this angle 3 and angle L these are this is 3 this is 70 degree the both are corresponding angles that is angle 3 also we can tell that is 70 degree right now angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 these are the triangle this is a triangle right this is a triangle angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 is equal to what we will get that is for 180 degree angle some property of triangle is 180 degree angle 2 is 60 degree see here angle 2 is where angle 2 is 60 degree angle 3 is 70 degree angle 4 is not there we have to find that is angle sum property is 180 degree after that both we add 60 plus 70 130 degree plus angle 4 is equal to 180 degree plus 130 if I transfer their side it become minus sign angle 4 is equal to 180 minus 130 180 minus 130 angle 4 we got that is what we got that is for 50 degree angle 4 the opposite angle of that that angle is vertically opposite angle that is x <coughs> see here so here therefore angle 4 is equal to angle x is equal to 50 degree because they are vertically opposite angles because opposite are there and x is also angle x is also we get that is 50 degree angle x is equal to 50 degree we can write got it next question i am going to explain the question number 10 so the question number 10 explain how this figure I is a trapezium and which of its two sides are parallel which are the two sides are parallel this side is equal to this side these are the parallel lines only the given in the figure 4.32 right 4.32 this figure is for question number 11 this figure is for question number 12 so so the 10th one i have drawn one figure this this line is parallel to this line this line is equal to this line we are taken this is parallel to this because i have drawn external of the dotted lines here also and here these lines is parallel to this line then angle m is equal to angle l they both are we have to add then we add what we will get 100 degree plus 80 degree that is for 180 degree that exactly we got the interior angle of the sum therefore now we can tell nm is parallel to kl then we can tell it is nm is parallel to kl this is the tenth one finish now should explain question number 11 question number 11 see here find m angle c in the figure 4.33 if AB is parallel to DC, AB is parallel to DC, already we are getting, one angle should be given 120 degree, now we have to find. So here 11th one, angle AB, now AB is parallel to DC, angle, this line is, this side is parallel to this side, AB is parallel to DC, angle B plus angle C, angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. So sum of interior angles, co-interior angles, co-interior angles, we are taking co-interior angles angle b is 120 degree angle c is not there we have to find already i wrote here answer don't get confusion that is not given so angle c is equal to 180 degree 120 if i transpose this side it will become minus sign angle c is equal to 180 minus 120 degree 180 minus 120 is we will get angle c is equal to 60 degree that is only the written answer written answer now the question number 12 Question number 12, find the measures of angle P and angle S if SP is parallel to, the side SP is parallel to RQ, SP is parallel to RQ in the figure 4.34 and if you find angle R is there more than one method or to find M angle P, right, see here. These are the figures should be given, so I am going to explain SP angles this side is parallel to this side so this side is parallel to this side angle p plus angle q angle p plus angle q is equal to angle p plus angle q is equal to sum of four interior angles is 180 degree right angle p is equal to angle q is that is for 130 degree is equal to 180 degree angle p is equal to if i transpose this side 180 minus 130 degree and angle p is equal to 180 minus 130 it becomes 150 degree that exactly angle should be what okay after that 
After that, the four angles of a quadrilateral. Angle P plus, angle Q plus, angle R plus, angle S is equal to 360 degree. Angle some property of quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. Right. Angle some property of quadrilateral. That makes as a 360 degree. Angle P is... We got here 50 degree, angle Q is there 130 degree, angle R is there 90 degree, we get already, we are getting that 90 degree, that is a right angle triangle already, we are getting, it was showing in the figure, so angle S is not there, that is 360 degree. These three angles, if we add, what we will get? 130 plus 50, 180 plus 90, 270 degree plus angle S should be as it is, is equal to 360 degree. The In between the angle S and 270 degree, there is a plus sign. If I transfer, that sign will become minus sign. So, after that, angle S is equal to 360 minus 270. If I transfer this side, it will become minus sign. 360 minus 270, angle S is 90 degree. One more method will be there. Say, we can tell, see here. I will tell you, I will explain here. Angle R plus angle S is equal to 180 degree. That is for co-interior angles. Co-interior angles. Angle, angle R is 90 degree plus angle S is 180 degree. Angle S is equal to, if I transpose this side, it will become minus sign. So, 180 minus 90. Angle S is equal to 90 degree. If you subtract 180 minus 90, that is 90 degree. We are got same. That is second method. Thank you for watching. This chapter has finished. Question number 12 also. So, I will send it notes and you can copy in that in your classroom. Okay. Thank you. Next, the last exercise left from here. That is exercise, exercise 4.4 in that understanding quadrilateral. Uh, so, first, main state whether the whether true or false. In that first exercise. So state whether true or false. First one, all rectangles are squares. Uh, that is, all rectangles are squares. That is, all rectangles it will not have squares because opposite sides are not equal in the rectangle. But in square, opposite sides are equal. All the sides are equal in rectangle. All the sides are not equal because the length should be there. Changes in breadth also changes. Right? That is a false. First one is false. Second one, all rhombus are parallelogram. Yeah, opposite angles are equal. Opposite sides also equal. All the sides are equal in rhombus, even the parallelogram. Opposite sides are equal. Then we call it as it uh, that is B1 true. Then third one, all squares are rhombus and also rectangle yeah because in rhombus uh, all squares having 90 degree also rectangles also having 90 degree opposite sides are equal then we call it as it is also true the fourth one all squares are not parallelogram that is false all squares are parallelogram yeah because it has all the angles, the opposite sides are equal in the square, in parallelogram also equal, right? Question number, that is for false, right? Even all cuts are rhombus, no, it is a false because rhombus is different and kites is also different, that is, and diagonals bisect each other, F1, that is, all rhombus are kites, all rhombus are called stress. It is true. Right? And G1, all parallelogram are trapezium. Yes. Opposite sides are equal. Then we call it as parallelograms also are trapezium. That is true. All squares are trapezium. Yes. All squares are trapezium because opposite sides are equal in them. And para, uh, diagonals bisect each other. That we call it as that is also true. First man over. Second man, identify all the quadrilaterals that have four sided are equal length. Yeah, which are those four sides are equal length? Which are that quadrilaterals like that? Names that is 
four side heads are equal in length that is square square all the sides are equal and even rhombus also all the sides are equal second one b1 four right angles which one square having four right angles right and rectangles also see as a rectangle like that we can tell 90 degree 90 degree 90 degree and 90 degree we call it as that is for right that is for 90 degree we call it as rectangle also third one explain how is a square how is a square is a quadrilateral yeah a quadri square having four sides and quadrilaterals also have four sides and second one a parallelogram a parallelogram opposite sides are equal and bisector parallelogram opposite sides are equal and that is what uh, equal and bisector understood bisector that is diagonals are bisect each other okay a rhombus rhombus all the sides are equal and diagonals bisect at 90 degree understood okay fourth one a rectangle inner angles are the four angles of the opposite angles opposite sides are equal and all the angles make that is for 90 degree in a rectangle question number four what is that name the quadrilateral whose diagonals first one bisect each other we have to name which are the quadrilaterals name the quadrilaterals that diagonal bisect each other second question perpendicular bisector each other are equal first one first one bisect each other means rhombus opposite sides each other bisect each other parallelogram opposite each other bisect each other square and rectangle these are the four quadrilaterals that bisect diagonals each other understood second one are perpendicular of each other perpendicular bisector of each other perpendicular bisector of each other that are rhombus and square that is okay now fourth one are equal are equal what are the equals squares and rectangle we can tell okay squares and that is squares and rectangle understood fifth main explain why is a rectangle is a convex quadrilateral because both of its diagonals lie in the same in its interior angles that is for interior both of its diagonal lie in its interior only inside that that is the diagonals bisect each other understood okay question number six that is the given a b c d is a right angle triangle o is the midpoint of the c side opposite of the right angle o. explain why o is equidistance equidistance from a and b to c b to b and c the dotted line that drawn additional to help you that is given here we are getting a rectangle right we have to write answer diagonals bisect each other diagonals bisect each other we can write oa is equal to oc oa is equal to oc and ob is equal to od this is the fifth uh, sixth question we have solved and i will send it the note this chapter has finished the understanding quadrilateral thank you for watching